All right, today's video is about making an evil villain. One of our favourite evil villains at Cherub's recently has been one called Spooky Spoon. That's alliteration, can you say that? Spooky Spoon. And Spooky Spoon goes around changing things to do with numbers and orders and if things are heavy or light. And she sort of swaps them about a bit. So today we watched a video, and I'll try and link this as well, about Spooky Spoon changing orders. So people put their pants on after their trousers. And they did their shoes up and then tried to put them on their feet. And there was even a little boy trying to blow bubbles and then putting the mixture on. So Spooky Spoon's really clever. So we thought we would make some Spooky Spoons. So in your house, you need a metal spoon or a wood spoon your grown-up doesn't mind you using and probably not giving back afterwards. We have got some little wooden spoons here. So the first thing you need to do is give Spooky Spoon a face. Now, you might want to draw on a face. And this is where you can decide you can make your Spooky Spoon happy. Or you could maybe make your spooky spoon really cross looking or a bit wicked. So you can decide to get your grown-ups to help you. You might have some stickers you can use or you might even have some stick-on eyes. So if you've got some glue like I've got here, you can put some glue in your spoon and then you can stick some eyes on your spoon, but it's just as good drawing them on. And if you draw them on, you can give them eyebrows, an eyes, a nose, and a mouth. And if you want yours to be a boy spooky spoon, even though it's a girl on the program, you might want to give it a mustache, and you might want to give it a beard. You can do whatever you want, because it's your spooky spoon. So, I've just got eyes on my spooky spoon so far. I need to add a nose and a mouth. So, I'm going to have a little brown smiley mouth for my spooky spoon. And I'm going to get I have a green nose today. Okay. My green nose. Now, spooky spoon on the TV program, Number Jacks with a necklace. Like I've got my keys, but she wears a necklace. So if you've got something sparkly, you might tie it around the top of your spoon. You might not want a necklace, you might want to put something else on. I am going to make my spooky spoon have a necklace though, like the one on telly. So I've got my safety scissors. You can ask your grown-ups if you need to borrow the scissors and they can help you. And I'm going to tie it around spooky spoon's neck. Now, you might have some ribbon to do this, or just a bit of string. You can colour the string in to make it a pretty colour. Anything you want. So, Spooky Spoon's got her Spooky Spoon necklace on. Now, the next bit is, although Spooky Spoon in the programme doesn't have any other decorations, you can make your spoon look anything you like. So, you might want to colour your spoon in, or you might want to stick things on. Now... As you know, we've been looking at shapes this week, and I have got some shiny shapes. Oh, like confetti sprinkling. You might get your parents or your grown-ups, whoever is looking after you, to draw you or cut out for you some bits of paper with different shapes on. You can colour them in and make them the different choices you want. Or you might have some beads or some buttons or some glitter or even milk bottle tops and you can stick them onto your spooky spoon so i'm going to start with a milk bottle top i have got oh a green milk bottle top that's a circle and i'm going to stick it right in the middle of my spooky spoon i'm then going to put some glue inside my spooky spoon Ooh. And I'm going to put another shape inside. I'm going to put... Oh, I've got... Do you know what this shape is? Ooh, it's very little. Pink heart. I'm going to put that inside my spooky spoon. 
like this, okay? And then I'm gonna put glue all the way down the stick and I'm gonna put some different shapes and I've got a square and I've got a rectangle and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. <gasps> found it. I've got a star. Now you might have some irregular shapes. You might have some stickers you want to stick on your spooky spoon. Ooh. Now, if you put some glue on the back behind spooky, you can give spooky some hair. So we're going to put some glue on the back of spooky. And then you've got to stick your t-shirt on or your paper on so the ends stick out. Can you see? So I'm sticking it so it's got bits with the ends sticking out. Now you might have some offcuts of wool. So say bits of string, just shredded paper from shredding an envelope. Anything will do. You might even want to go outside and get some leaves and some sticks to make your spooky spoon. You can make spooky spoon any way you want to. But my spooky spoon is going to have crazy rainbow hair. There she is. What do you think? I'm going to show you some other spooky spoons that the children have been making in Cherubs as well. So this one's my spooky spoon. Wait one moment. Here are some of the spooky spoons some of the children made earlier. So we've got a purple and green one. We've got a multicoloured one with string attached to the back. And a number six on. So you can also put numbers as well as shapes on your spooky spoons. We've also got spooky spoons with lots of eyes. And a spooky spoon with a letter on. You can make your spooky spoons look anything you like. And even more things you can put on your spooky spoon. Wait there. Oh, this spooky spoon has got a full outfit and straws as arms. Now, when you've made your spooky spoons, whoa, the spooky spoons are falling over. When you've made your spooky spoons, then if you watch the Number Jacks videos, you can have a go at deciding one of the things you want to do with them. One of the things we did today was that we found numbers outside and then we swapped them about and then we hid different numbers in different places because Spooky Spoon was changing the numbers. Maybe you can look for a number in your house and put some other ones hidden over the top. So you could find, let's see, if you're three, you could have a number three on a piece of paper and you could see how many threes you can find in your house. Or you maybe you find four or five, and then if you take your spooky spoon with you, maybe you could put a piece of paper over them and change them to something else. Because Spooky Spoon likes to mix things up and change them. So have loads of fun. As I say, you can use metal ones and stick a piece of paper on to make the face on your spooky spoon. You can use wooden spoons, have a plastic spoon, spatulas, anything you want to. Really enjoy yourself with it and get really, really messy. Bye. See you soon.